In part two, Stu thinks he's become a newly qualified pony whisperer. He loses it at parking, again. And we observe the Flat Earth Society. You are ready for a different kind of life. As always, we start the day with a parking fail and I just get too much enjoyment out of filming these. So if you're trying to help me, that is not helping. You telling me it's all okay, you're on the skew. That doesn't help me. <laughs> But right? you are on the you're either, I, I'm either all right. You're all right. Or I'm on the skew. You're all right. right? It's no use saying that you're all right and you're on the skew. <laughs> you're all right, but you're on the skew. No, <laughs> because that just, just feeds my anxiety, parking anxiety, because now I've got to go and straighten it up. Well, just let me get out first, because I value my life. No, this doesn't help. This doesn't help at all. How you many do, attempts have we tried parking this van? One. No, I think you'll In find slot, three. One. one. In this <laughs> slot, this is the third slot. Uh, go and give me a ticket. Sure. We had actually intended to go further afield today, but we've headed back to Church Stretton because we enjoyed it so much the day before, and there are other areas for us to explore. As this local farmer drives past, we sit and debate about whether he gets fed up of tourists or does he embrace us, and I guess we'll never know. Oh God, and here we go again with the parking. It's not like there's no room up here, Stu. I've just got to get my levels right. Are you all right parking? That's it. So tell us about the scratches on your car. On my car? On Harry? Your, yeah. Well, he Last just, night. you just got to let it go. I got out of the van. There was all sorts of scratches down the side of the van. And I, I can't remember going past any hedges, I'll be honest with you, like that. But I guess that's, you just got to let that go. I need to look at what I can get that, get the scratches out with. You were quite distraught. Mm. And I've just gone through some hawthorn bushes, so. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't even look what's now there now. <laughs> So we've come out for a uh, second day. Um, we've had to go back, we haven't stayed overnight because we had to go back for family reasons. Um, but we've come out a second day because it was so gorgeous yesterday, especially where we saw the gliders. Um, just come out to a different part of uh, Shropshire Hills. Uh, you can see the uh, wild ponies out here and there's a young foal there, can only be days old because he's so doddery on her feet. But it's gorgeous. It's very cold. The wind's very quite sharp. But we're going to uh, we're just going to spend the day here. What a glorious view! England in its finest, I would say. When it's like this, see for miles. That's the Reekin over there, over by Telford. And these are the Church Stretton Hills, Long Mins over that way. Stu gets his coat on and gets the drone out again. And once more, we're in a stunning area and it makes you wonder how many shades of green can there actually be? Be very old. No, not at all. <laughs> and doddering around there. She's got to be really, really new, hasn't she? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, definitely. 
Yeah. And once again, as they did yesterday, the ponies move in and around us, and we take far too many pictures, but they are just so cute. What you're seeing now is actually Stu's viewpoint. The clicking is a well-known pony whisperer technique. Stu is very proud of himself. Now this is what I saw from my viewpoint, which was a bloody idiot with a camera being rejected. Don't these next few scenes just speak for themselves? It was absolutely idyllic. So just tell me, how many people are we surrounded out by sat in chairs? Loads. So we're <sighs> sat in the van like two pathetic people well one I'll, I'll go you on. yeah That's admittedly it. you <laughs> and there's people sat in shorts in chairs um, look, we're in gonna, shorts we're gonna have lunch out there and you've got th you brought two coats with you <laughs> i'm not wearing them though <laughs> you will be when you're out there <laughs> you might be right actually. what's no. wrong with us look he's got his hat on he's got a blanket over him so we're going to go out there for lunch now we're going to set up now to go what because everyone else is yes it's good enough reason for any. If there's, there's a good enough reason, that's a good enough reason. So you go out there while I prepare. I'm prepare bloody food. not preparing <laughs> with you. I ain't going out there. It may look nice, but it's bloody freezing. No, come on, let's go out there. I'll go and get the chairs out. Good luck. <laughs> no, let's not embrace it. Jane, we're going outside. Stop messing around. <laughs> Lunchtime arrives and there's nothing to make you feel more inadequate than the local Pilates club arriving for a lesson. It may look warm but believe me, it was freezing out there. We were going to join them honestly but instead we decided to eat our pasta and chicken and just think about being healthy. What an amazing place to have a class though. We have a quick game of Rummy Cub, and at this point I'm not sure whether Stu's in the middle of a seizure or just thinking. And as always, I win. You're good. And as you can see, we had the most lazy, perfect day. <laughs> <laughs>